what are the benefits for Africa? And is it even really necessary for us to want to host these things? You know, is there a benefit for us for it, Molomi? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, first of all, eh? uh, let's start with 2010 uh, World Cup, eh? which was hosted in South Africa. You know, this was the first World Cup ever hosted in Africa. Uh, we have mm. had Morocco who have been trying to bid to host the World Cup since 1994. Uh, mm. They bid again to host it in 1998. They failed. They have been failing. They had actually also bid to, ho to host the World Cup in 2026, which mm. they failed, but they are hoping to host it in 20 that year. But here's the thing, yeah? This, this is a historic event. The 2010 World Cup in Africa is a historic event. For one, eh, uh, during the World Cup, eh, all, the, all the fans of football from all over the world, they came to watch the World Cup in South Africa. You can tell me, I can tell you for a matter of fact that the South African hospitality, uh, South Africa sports, uh, tourist attraction and everything, eh? mm. all that actually got to be uh, to benefit from money that came from that World Cup. It opened, mm. it opened up South Africa to the globe. Now, everyone knows that uh, there was a World Cup hosted in South Africa. And, uh, and that increases the global appeal of the country mm. in itself. Eh? And whenever South Africa is uh, mentioned, eh? You know, South Africa actually has Africa at the end of it. Eh? So there are maybe mm. even some people who, who do not know South Africa is a country, so they think it's the southern part of Africa. So you might, uh, you might see them going to the southern part of Africa. That also brings some growth to the other nini. Mm. And uh, there was also the improvement of infrastructure. You mm. realize that for a country to host a uh, World Cup, eh? You, uh, mm. Like right now, US will be hosting the next World Cup, eh? but it will be doing mm. that in collaboration with Canada. And US mm. is a very big country and it has enough money to set up the infrastructure for World Cup. Eh? But mm. South Africa was able to host the World Cup alone without, without sharing it with anybody else. So that mm. means uh, they built stadiums to host the World Cup. Uh, mm. They built hotels, they improved the roads for people to go there. You know, there is this habit of African countries uh, of doing roads only when people are going to see them. Eh? Mm. Also, you remember, you know, during the opening ceremonies of World Cups and whatnot, uh, mm. there is Kai Yamusho, the last one was in the last World Cup in Qatar. Eh? They mm. show their culture. The one in Russia, mm. they showed their country. Mm. In South Africa, the same thing happened. Eh? So it was a mm. chance for the South Africans to showcase their culture eh? mm. with the colorful opening ceremonies, with the music performances. Eh? Actually, I, did no. say, I think everyone, I, I think ever since we started watching World Cup, eh? and Colin mm. can bear me witness here, eh? the South African World Cup was the best World Cup I ever witnessed. Mm. Best World Cup. I was 10 at yeah. the time. And I still have memories until right now.